Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be taking a look at an Agile Epic example from Atlassian. If you're new to Jira or if you're new to the wonderful world of Agile, please make sure you're subscribed, you drop a like in this video, and if you have any questions about anything that I cover, make sure you drop a comment below. In the last video, I basically gave you an explanation of what an Epic is. In this video, I'm going to show you an example. And then in the next video, we're actually going to go and build it in Jira and show it to you and show you how everything, all this theory of what an epic and stories and tasks are and how they're interconnected. I'm going to show you how they actually come together in Jira. So again, if you are not subscribed, you're going to want to make sure you subscribe because you are not going to want to miss out on these amazing videos. With that said, let's jump into today's video. Okay, so here we are. We're back at Atlassian's Agile Coach. If you haven't watched the last video, please make sure you take a look because you're going to want to remember or at least know what I was talking about with respect to what Agile is so that this example starts making sense to you. If you are following along, Agile Coach at Atlassian.com, we're going to come down to Epics and we're down to the Agile example. So let's take a look at this example in a little bit more detail and see, see what they're trying to tell us. Okay, so this is going to be an example it is just to kind of help put what an Epic is and where Epics fall into place with respect to Agile project management. And it's, again, it's just there to, for an illustration. Let's say it's 2050. We work for a recreational space travel organization. We do about a dozen launches a year. So each launch isn't the single biggest thing we do in a year, but it's still far from routine and will take any person hours to complete. That sizing is just right for an epic. An example epic is March 2050 space tourism launch. It includes stories for routine work items as well as stories aimed to improve key aspects of the shuttle launch from customers buying a space travel ticket to launch of the rocket itself. As such, multiple teams will contribute to this epic by working on a wide range of stories. Now I do want to stop here. I think this is one of the key things that help epics be really powerful. If you work in a group and at this point it doesn't really, as long as you're like five or more people, I think maybe 10, but as long as you're in a 10 ish and more person company, epics are going to really help you because no one individual is going to typically build their product, especially as your company builds, grows and scales. And you start looking into, Hey, maybe agile is this thing that we want to look at because just doing a simple to do list and trying to deliver a, what is potentially a multi-million dollar project or product becomes really, really challenging to do when you don't help organize or you don't get help from other people in the organization. So epics are a great way to insert some big effort into Jira and then as tentacles create stories that are cross functional so that multiple teams can work on them. And what's great about these stories is that they can live on different boards. They can live on different projects, depending on how you configure your Jira. And so you can give teams the autonomy to get creative and come up with the solutions. But at the same time, you have a vessel to illustrate and tie everything back, tie all those efforts back together. And this is what's really key. So as you can see here, we're going to have an Epic called March 2050 launch. And below that, are three stories. These three stories can belong to the software team. They can be QA stories. They can be design stories. They can be any number of different stories that individually might not be very important, but when they come together as a team, as a group, now you have something valuable and now your team has a North star, if you will, a purpose of what does this story have to do with the bigger picture of what we're trying to push out. And so this epic and story relationship is what's really going to help you and your team get organized and plan your work efficiently so that you can then start making some progress because otherwise you're just not making traction, right? If your team's just going out there, you have a backlog full of stories and your team, you just for every sprint, you just randomly blindly assigning stories because that's the agile way. And you're just, your team's just kind of running. Imagine that your team, they're all tied to a rope at their waist and everybody just spreads out. And then that rope's going to, tension up and just pull everybody down. When you use the epics, it helps get your team going in the same direction. I'm hoping that this example kind of paints to you the benefits of why epics are important instead of just relying on stories. So if your team isn't using epics yet with respect to planning your work, I highly recommend you start taking a look at how you can use this. We're going to come scroll down here and 
uh, one last thing that I want to talk about is this section here. So in one of my last videos, I have actually explained to you that it is very possible for you to have epics as the highest level because that's what's built out of the box. Then you have stories below it, but you can configure Jira so that epics belong to a bigger thing. So they can belong to an initiative or in this case, a theme. And as you can see here, this is just one way of setting up your Jira so that you have a multi-tier hierarchy to help you again organize the work this is not necessarily stuff that you're going to find within the agile manifesto and it's not necessarily going to be stuff that you're just going to find in a traditional just vanilla agile shop but you want to leverage these issue types in jira to create these hierarchies to help you and your team organize your work because at the end of the day teams are usually late they're over budget and just bad things happen to a deliverable because there's not enough communication. There's not enough clarity as to what's important. What is the most value added thing? And what should this giant company or giant team, and I say giant loosely because I think a team of even 50 is already opening and is already ripe for miscommunication, but anybody that's just really depending on other people to work, to put a product together, you want to leverage your issue type strategically so that you can then get organized so that your team can actually make traction. Because if you don't use your issue type strategically and everything's a story or everything's a task and there is no logic to the grouping of why and how things come together at the end, you're missing out on potentially what could help actually drive value and actually, most importantly, give your team the traction they need to actually successfully deliver this product. So anyways, in the next video, we're gonna actually jump into Jira. I'm going to show you how to create an epic and how to create stories that are associated to that epic. So if you haven't already subscribed, I recommend that you smash that subscribe button, drop a like on this video if you got value out of it. And if you have any questions about anything covered in this video, please make sure you drop it in the comment section below. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.